There are over 800 footballers at the World Cup, 32 countries, some of the best footballers in the world competing to win the biggest trophy in football history. And if you were to go through every single one of these players, every single one of these nations, and build the best 11, you'd have probably a couple of players from Brazil, a couple of players from Argentina. Now, in this video, I am going to be doing a World Cup combined 11, but I'm going to be doing it with a twist, so I make it a little bit interesting. I'm only allowed to use one player per nation. If you don't understand, let's say my combined 11 at centre-back, I pick Lissandro Martinez. That means I cannot use Lionel Messi because I've already used my one Argentinian player. So let's get right into this combined 11 and this might be a little bit of a controversial one but in goals I'm gonna go with Alisson using my Brazil pick and not picking Neymar. I think Alisson is the best goalkeeper in the world just above Courtois. He has shot stopping, he has distribution, he's everything you'd want from a goalkeeper. He's my pick for goalkeeper and he's my pick for Brazil. At right back I'm gonna use my English pick and I'm gonna use Trent Alexander-Arnold. I know he's in terrible form, it's been a terrible season so far for Trent and yes he does have those defensive issues but I think on his day he is one of the best players on the planet. His passing ability is fantastic. My other pick for right back would have been Hakimi but he's also been bad this season so I'm going off overall and on their day. Trent is the man I would pick. My first centre back I'm going to go with Virgil van Dijk who also hasn't had the best this season though I don't think he's been awful but he is the best centre back on the planet. Although his aura defending doesn't work to the same extent anymore Virgil van Dijk he's still one of the best centre backs on the planet. He is still a monster and for me he gets in this team and he'll be partnered alongside Antonio Rudiger. For me it was close between Ronald Arujo and Antonio Rudiger but just about the Real Madrid man gets over the Barcelona man. Rudiger has that experience. I've always liked his aggression. I just think he's a quality player. Very good centre back and he's my Germany pick. At right back I have Trent. Someone that has a little bit of defensive issues. At left back I'm gonna go with Chao Cancelo who also has defensive issues so if this was an actual team they could be caught out very easily. But in all fairness it's an imaginary concept for a YouTube video. It's not like this team is gonna come together. It's not like they're gonna have to work well together so I'm just gonna make an attacking minded exciting football team. I'm using Chao Cancelo as my Portugal pick so no Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know if that's kind controversial or not. Back to back Man City players, I'm going Rodri as my defensive midfielder. For me, he's been the best defensive midfielder on the planet in the last 12 months. He sits so well and every once in a while he goes forward and scores an absolute rocket. I love Rodri, he's such a fantastic footballer. And now it's three in a row with Man City players. I'm going with Kevin De Bruyne for my Belgian pick. I love Kevin De Bruyne. He is the best midfielder at the World Cup. He is fantastic. Kevin De Bruyne can create a chance out of nothing. We've seen that with Erling Haaland this season. So in this team, he's going to do absolutely fantastic. De Bruyne will be partnered beside someone that is a good bit older than him, but he is still a fantastic footballer in Luka Modric as my Croatia pick. I wasn't going to pick Dejan Lovren, was I? Alisson or Neymar for Brazil, that was a controversial one, but Luka Modric for Croatia, no real doubt there. Now, moving on to the front three and the right winger. Who else are we going to pick? But the best player there ever has been, the best player there ever will be, Lionel Messi. People called him Finnish last season, and I'll be honest, I had my doubts, but he has 30 goal involvement so far this season. That is incredible, and he could win his eighth Ballon d'Or in 12 months' time. And I think we all dream of a world where Lionel Messi lifts the World Cup. As a striker, I'm gonna go with Robert Lewandowski. He's probably the best striker at the World Cup considering Kareem Benzema is out due to injury. If for some reason Robert Lewandowski watches my videos, even though I picked him in this team, I think he's not gonna be happy with me, mainly because, well, I said Raul Jimenez would score more World Cup goals than him. This video will be posted after Mexico played Poland, so hopefully Raul Jimenez scores a hat-trick. And let's say in Poland versus Mexico, if Robert Lewandowski has an absolute masterclass, please make sure to laugh at me in the comments. I deserve it. Now onto the left winger. I haven't used a French player yet and I'm going to use Kylian Mbappe off the left. I know he typically likes to play as a striker but look he'd be a good winger. He has the pace. He played at the left at the last World Cup. He probably would have played off the left in this World Cup if Benzema didn't get injured. So that was my World Cup combined 11 with a twist. I was only allowed to use one player per nation. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. The most unlucky country to miss out on this 11 was probably Uruguay. I think Fede Valverde and Ronald Arujo were unlucky to miss out on this team. If this was an actual team I think it would do quite well. I mean that's kind of obvious. You have some of the best players in the world in it. Robert Lewandowski is going to be loving life in this team. He is De Bruyne, Trent, Cancelo, Messi, loads of players setting him up, supplying him. I have the best goalkeeper on the planet, I have the best centre-back on the planet, but the rest of the back line in defensive terms is a little bit dodgy. Rudiger can charge up the field and both full-backs are playing as wingers at times. My response to people saying half my back line can't even defend is, I don't care, it's a football YouTube video, I do not care about the logistics. But what I do care about is you subscribing, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy. In the comments, make sure to give it a go of the best World Cup 11 only using one player per nation. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.